this video, let's create a two-dimensional array. So I want to create a two-dimensional array, which has uh, two rows. Okay, I'll consider the first row containing elements as uh, one, two, three, and the second row containing elements as uh, four, five, six. Okay, so I can consider this as a matrix as well. A matrix, the order of this matrix is two by three containing two rows and three column elements. Okay, so let's create this. I'll consider ARR as the name of the array and NP dot uh, array of, okay. Since we are creating a two dimensional array, this is a structure, right? Uh, an array containing uh, two rows, okay. Or a matrix containing two rows. So in the first row, we have three column elements. They are one, two, three. And the second row has got uh, column elements four, five, six. Okay. Now we can print this particular array. Print of ARR. So let's execute this and see the result. You can see this is the array, right? Now suppose, uh, how can I print the first element in the array? Only one element. I just wanted to print this one. Okay, so in that case, we can write like this. Print of ARR of, this is located in the zeroth row. And the column element is also zeroth column element. Yes or no? So this is considered as the zeroth row. And this element is the zeroth column element. So let's execute and see the result. You can see one is appearing here. Suppose if you want to display two, okay, I'll display all these elements one after the other. You can see here. So if I write array of zero one, in that case, we can display the next element that is two. Okay. So similarly, you can also display element number three by writing a column value as two. So three is located in the zero throw and second column element zero one two, right? Like this. Let's execute and see. Yeah. Now similarly, if you want to display the second row and all the column elements belonging to the second row. So we just need a small modification here. I want to access the second row. It means uh, index starts from zero, so zero, one. One is representing the second row. One here, here also one. Again, in the second row, there are exactly three column elements. So we can access them easily. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how we can create a two dimensional array and we can display all its contents like this.